What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's Professor Anime. Welcome back to another video. In today's video guys, I am here to bring you all my review of Samurai Champloo episode 5. So let's get this started. So in this episode of Samurai Champloo, we have it to where Mugen, Jin, and Fu need to pay money for a boat rental in order to progress further on in their journey uh, for their next destination towards uh, where the Sunflower Samurai is located at. However, they cannot do this because of the fact that they have no money. So what does the good old trio do in this episode of Samurai Champloo? Well... Pretty much they end up splitting up yet again and we have it to where uh, Jin ends up getting involved with this old man who plays Shogi and yeah pretty much the whole entirety of the episode we have Jin playing Shogi with this old man and he really doesn't do anything in this episode at all which is kind of funny. Then we have it to where Mugen ends up getting involved with some thugs uh, of course you know <laughs> and he uh, pretty much ends up uh, stealing their money <laughs> pretty much so yeah we have it to where the thugs are trying to get back at him although Mugen pretty much you know handles them like without even lifting his sword not even trying so that was kind of funny to see as well and then we have it to where the main plot of this episode we have it to where uh, Fu ends up getting involved with this uh, painter who happens to be involved with the Yakuza as well and Fu yet again plays the damsel in distress and she is captured so Fu in fact was captured captured in this episode of Samurai Champloo and she ended up getting involved with the Yakuza yet again. We have it to where pretty much the painter was involved with the Yakuza himself. Uh, he ends up drawing pictures of young girls apparently and then we have it to where the Yakuza members as soon as uh, the painter is done the Yakuza members will then take the girl and then pretty much capture her and pretty much sell her off for merchandise. And then near the end of this episode, we have it to where Mugen has to pretty much, you know, pinpoint down Fu's location so that way he can rescue her so that way she doesn't end up getting transported to a different village or town or whatnot. And Jin, Jin is pretty much still playing Shogi with this old guy. <laughs> and we come to find out that apparently the old uh, guy that uh, Jin is playing Shogi with, he is in fact the boss of this little Yakuza group that is uh, doing these shenanigans involving uh, the paintings and whatnot. So he ends up getting arrested by the end of this episode by the narrator uh, who pretty much was in the beginning of this episode. And he's a funny dude. He's a funny dude because like there was this one scene where he had like this sort of I don't know, it was some sort of thing that he was holding, but he started shaking it like this, and he, the, his dialogue was like, it makes for a very good workout exercise as I thrust my arms up and down, or something like that, and I immediately thought, like, dude, he's making the shake weight. F references within this episode of Samurai Champloo. So, yeah, I just thought that was pretty funny. I mean, this episode was pretty funny in general, and, you know, it's kind of sad to see that, you know, Fu is always playing the damsel in distress, technically, throughout the entirety of this series, from these past five episodes that I have now seen of Samurai Champloo, but... You know, it's probably going to continue like this, but, you know, just the sort of chaos that Jin and Mugen and Fu end up getting themselves into, you know, I'm, I'm liking the journey. It's very comedic, and the action is awesome, and I, I just love the dialogue in this episode as well, or in this series as well. So, yeah, let me know what you guys thought about this episode of Samurai Champloo in uh, the comments down below, and, of course, if you like this video, don't forget to drop a like. It always helps out the channel, and if you want to stick up to date to my future content on this channel and see more Samurai Champloo episode reviews from me because I will be doing that. I'm going to review them episode by episode by episode unless you guys want me to review like two to three episodes at a time. I don't know. But until then, I'm doing episode by episode reviews. But if you want to see more reviews from me, nonetheless, subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.